Hi Aries, this is Baby Boss. Okay guys, let's do your weekly reading, what you need to know. Alright, so first I'll start with the messages. Please remember this cannot or not resonate with each and every one of you, don't force me to do it if I didn't use the story. Okay, Aries. Um, guys, please check out um, my eBay account. Because um, I'm auctioning off my my very first tarot deck that I got, which is the original Rider Waite. They are up for auction and they are signed by me. Okay, that's from my eBay account. You can find the link to that. I think it's in my about section or it's in the other videos that I've done. Anyway, Aries, what do you need to know? Aries, what does Aries need to know for this week, please? A couple of messages. Okay. <clears throat> okay, you are the only one who can heal me. Okay, this could be a Taurus man that you're dealing with. Okay, something significant about this September. Something's coming up in September. Okay, somebody wants to reconcile with you, but they'll still cheat on you. Could be just Taurus man. Uh, somebody is currently friends with benefits with the cancer. Uh, Aries, if you go over to your um, Aries only channel, okay, um, what's coming out in your reading so far is exactly what came out in that reading I did for you today. So go over to Baby Boss Tarot Aries only and check out the reading I did for you today because there was a cancer involved there. Um, and the, yeah, somebody was involved with the cancer, a cancer was pregnant or lying about it trap you or your person or whatever um but we need to find out oh i didn't get any tarot cards out then you know the same pull from the, the trigger deck here for you at aries i've already done this today for you all right what else does aries need to know what else does aries need to know okay so aries um an air sign is lying about being single all right uh you also might want to check out the Gemini reading, okay, because uh, in the Gemini's reading, they were lying to an ex about being single when they were actually with a current partner, and their, their current partner could possibly be a Cancer, okay, okay, so if you're dealing with a Taurus or an air sign, um, someone's friends for benefits for the Cancer, so go check out the Gemini reading. you got an air sign just wants your money, Aries, so a Gemini Libra Aquarius just wants your money. Uh, you're going to find out that Libra is pregnant or lying to you about it to trap you or your person. Okay, so if a Libra is pregnant or they're lying about being pregnant, it could be because they want your person or um, or they want to trap you or your person, whatever this is, but a Libra is pregnant. Okay, it could be a third party energy thing going on here. You're going to find out a Scorpio betrayed you um, if you're in a relationship with a Scorpio, they cheated on you, they lied to you, they abused you, and they gossiped, uh, gossiped about you. Okay, you got a Taurus stole your ex while you were together, and your ex allowed them. Could be this Taurus man, because that's now come up, okay? So a Taurus stole your ex while you were together, and your ex allowed it to happen. So this is why we do kind of clarifiers. A fire sign, an, an Aries Leo or a Sag is going to jail for money fraud and not paying child support. You're going to find out about that. It might not be connected to you, but you're going to find out about it. Okay, a Sagittarius's lies will be exposed publicly clearing your name. you got a water sign, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio secretly fantasizes about you. And you've got an air sign you blocked is coming uh, to visit you because they love you. So Aries... You've still got the air sign and the water sign energy still around you, but you've got this earth sign who is possibly a third party in all of this. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Let's just get used to the romance angels. And then I'm going to do something different at the end. Alright, what does Aries need to know, please? What does Aries need to know? Alright, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. And you've got give your relationship in the chance, uh, work on your partnership, but that's in the reverse areas. The energy I felt of you this morning is that you're not really into anything romantic right now. You're just focusing on yourself, your work, your business, your children, whatever it is. You're more focused on that rather than romance. And you've got soulmate in the reverse. So yes, this is your soulmate in the reverse, but you're not feeling it. Could be because of a deception. So someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. 
areas you, you're not exactly feeling love at the moment. It could be because areas you are highly intuitive. You know someone around you is lying to you about being single. Someone is currently going to benefits with a cancer and they're lying about it. Okay, um, I've just heard the truth is about to come out very soon. Alright, it's going to be exposed to you. And then you can move on happily. <clears throat> Alright, now I'm pulling from the gemstone deck. What does Aries need to know, please? Okay, your gemstone is Snowflake Obsidian. So, are you afraid of the dark or the unknown? Do you feel vulnerable? It's the energy I've been feeling from you, Aries. You're feeling quite vulnerable now, right now, so you don't want to share this your romantic or your love energy with anyone. Your heart chakra is closed. There is always darkness within light. Darkness accentuates brightness to clearly see situations, people and circumstances. Embrace the darkness, darkness to enhance the clarity in your life. On the back, you've got Angel of Contrast. So, I courageously see through the darkness of adversity to make positive changes that light up my life. I know there is light at the end of the tunnel. I see myself, situations and others clearly and participate in the transformation of negative to positive. Okay, Aries, that was your read, let's.